Seven. This is Houston, say again, please. Five. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Three. We've had a main beam on the level. Zero. Roger, main beam under bolt. Okay, stand by 13. We're looking. We have the next picture ready from Martini. It's a great picture. It's an awesome people. Most of you have probably seen it in EMI or Mars Moon Space or, or Alien Life or Mars Discovery groups, uh, Warriors Mars groups. Martini, would you please tell us a little bit about your picture? Okay. I came across this. It was the early days. As you can see, it's Sol 36. Um, the area is called Glen Elk, and I was looking at almost like a desert region very few rocks, um, just dotted around what looked like uh, volcanic rocks, little little lumps of uh, black volcanic rock. And this was in the foreground, so I zoomed in on it, and immediately, I, mean, I was absolutely astonished, I saw two, I can see two little figures that looked like they had fallen onto their side. The, the right-hand figure is the male, and uh, just under where it says Sol 36, you can see he's got a little pointed head with a, a crown, a coronet on the top of his head. He's wearing a, quite an intricate headdress, almost like it's beaded. He's got quite a prominent white nose, as you can see, and his chin is quite prominent. His eyes are, are quite deep set. Um, leaning against him on the left, is what looks like his his partner, his woman. Um, she's got a tiny little face which is bent down. Um, she's got wavy hair. Uh, she's got a, a little headdress on there. And just below her hair, she's got a big looped uh, ornate earring. Um, she's, he, I'll go back to him, um, just below his head, is what looks like a very, uh, it's, it's a basket with a, a looped handle going off to the right hand side. The basket is containing organic material. I would, I would say this was foodstuffs that they may have been carrying. Um, now the most, uh, the thing that astounded me is that when I studied her hands, they look inverted to me. Uh, rather like a creature would have for digging. Um, if you look at the hand on the side of his head, her fingers look, her hand looks inverted back to front. Um, the arm and the hand that is down in the left hand quarter of the image, you can see she is wearing almost like a sort of crocheted dress, there's a sleeve that comes down which is frilled over the wrist, the, her thumb is pointing downwards which again looks like the hand is twisted round. Um, she, I, I lightened up her face so I could find, you know, see, see the eye and the nose better and I'm, I'm quite pleased with it now. Um, and I also tried to pick out the detail of what that might have been between them in the shadow in the middle there, just to the left of the basket. Um, I can see detail, but I don't know what it is. If um, you move up to the smaller image, the original raw image above, um, you'll see the whole of the two figures together. Uh, you can see her her leg sticking out towards the bottom left hand corner uh, she's wearing like a little boot um, just out of the picture at the bottom is what looks like her foot which is broken away uh, I'm not sure I you know I thought well if these are statues they're very tiny they're, they're only about maybe at the most two foot high not, probably not even that and I thought, you know, who would make a statue of two fallen figures like this? And I, I'm sort of leaning towards the fact that these were life forms and that they are petrified. Um, I've had this on my desktop now since 2012. For me, it is my smoking gun because it indicates what 
these little beings wore, that they were civilized, that they probably made their own clothes. They, it just says everything to me. Um, and it moves me every time I look at it. It's so a, there we are. It's, it's, a, awesome. it's, a, it's a great picture, that's for sure. Thank you, thank you. Any, Neville, do you have, uh, want to start with your thoughts on it? Yeah, I actually found this in 2012 when it first came out as well. Um, I've actually got um, my version of it here. Um, if you can bring my screen up, this, this is what I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was the, the lower part of somebody riding on something, you know? That, that's, that's what I thought it was. Um, but obviously... It's um, it's not like really. Um, hold on, I'll try and twist that. No, I cannot. Okay. Um, it's showing back the front down here, but I don't know why. But anyway, I actually, if you look, it's it's a really excellent um, find because you can see all the all the carvings and the look the lower part there. You can see the um, the arm bit that um, yeah. Martin. See, you can see it actually curves outward, like a mole, yes. like a mole's hand, oh. yeah, yeah. Um, but the detail on it is absolutely brilliant, like, you know, I mean, you can see all stuff up here, and um, the, the face and the eyes, um, you can actually see, like, little horn things coming out the um, the top of the man's face, you know, um, but... Uh, I'm, when I first found it, like it was like, wow, that's that looks. I actually saw the face first, first of all, and then I saw the rest of it coming down and everything, and I thought that that looks as a bit lying on its side, like lying backwards, you know, as if it's falling over. Maybe, maybe it's the rest of it's behind it. I tried searching on the other, like um, further around it to see if there was any bits that I could try and figure out whether they fit it together but I couldn't like you know but um it is a really good image especially M M Martin's version of it that's yeah. she's really made a better job of it than I did actually <laughs> thank you Ned. actually I, I forgot to say that further back in when you look at that plane on the original image there is uh, two more figures I've actually um, put put them on other posts, and I think that they all part of one family, and I think they probably perished maybe in a dust storm or the cold or whatever. But it's it really is a very poignant image. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's a great one, Billy. What's your thoughts on this? Right away, when I first saw it uh, a few months ago in, in uh, EMI, I immediately thought Mohan Jindaro in uh, the Indus Valley, yes. uh, where, you know, in ancient times, it appears that there was some type of a nuclear blast. And even uh, some of the sand and surrounding rock in that area have been vitrified, which can be only caused by extreme heat. Uh, and uh, some of the, um, the body parts that were left there have, there's evidence that they haven't even been scavenged on by animals, and they have a higher uh, radiation, radioactive background than the normal noise. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, but when you look at those bodies laying there in that ancient street there and, and on Earth, it's very similar to what Martine has found up there. It almost looks like something came, um, maybe a shockwave or something, and just took them down right there in that spot, and that's where they ended. That's that was the end for them right there in that location. It looks like it just came from one side, maybe a shockwave, maybe a blast of heat. We don't know what it could be, but. It, it really, the way that they're there, it just really reminds me of, um, uh, especially that object kind of in the front that this, that's like kind of in front of it. almost looks like it's kind of, um, but that could be from age too, kind of dilapidated, but it does remind me of the Mohenjo-Daro on Earth. Very similar style of design. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Linda? Yes, Thomas. What's yes. Your thoughts on it? I was, I was wondering as Martine was talking about her hands being inverted and the way that it was, if she was, it was like in self-protection, you know, like trying to shield them from, you know, whatever it was that 
was happening at the time. Yeah. And uh, and another, yes, a, another uh, thing also. If you could bring it back up, Thomas. Yes, of course. One and second. and see if you guys. Uh, On her hand, say at her, uh, I would say at her knee, close to her knee, as touching on the ground. Uh, what's below that that uh, right hand of hers? It's on the left side, and yeah. I was wondering if that could be like some type of bag that she had on her arm that's bag, touching yeah. the ground. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like carrying, carrying, you know, whatever they had, you know, yeah, what, yeah. very little it looks like in the basket of maybe possibly food stuff, you know, to yes, survive yeah. on. And yes. I believe I that they were actually, you know, was taken down at that point to just really fast. It, it's hard. It's heart touching, heartbreaking to it to see bad, that yeah. image to me. But man, it's a fantastic image and fantastic find, Martin. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My thoughts on this is that it's uh, also one of those who have very big influence on our future uh, regarding beliefs in, in life in the universe. It yeah. really is to me a proof that there was someone up there who either became this object or created this object in one way or another. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of people who just would say it's just a coincidence, it's rock, and that's okay for them to believe whatever they want to believe, but those people probably aren't searching the truth outside normal science and understanding as, as we are. You have to believe in life, in the universe. You have to believe that nothing is as what we know on our little planet Earth. The physics, uh, uh, laws of physics uh, is cannot be the same everywhere in the universe. If you believe everything in the universe is like on planet Earth, then you need to go to school again and start being teaching yeah. over again about Absolutely. life. <coughs> so. That's my uh, opinion of the picture. It's a great picture and I love it. It's a really great one. <laughs>